What is going on guys? Welcome back to SE Outdoors. This is a uh, part two of today. Um, could be multiple parts for sure. Um, started out this morning at first light on a Class A wild trout creek called some brook trout. Um, I'm doing more of a recon day. I'm exploring there's four or five streams and sections of streams that I want to fish today. But knocked the first one out in about an hour and a half. Caught about I think 11 or 12 brook trout. Um, now I am going to hike this uh, trail to get to my next stream. Um, the first one I fished was Class A, the rest are not. Um, this stream coming up is going to be, I'm guessing in the Class B, Class C range. All I know is it's a D to B in that range. So we'll see how many fish are there, what kind of fish. I don't know if it's brooks, browns. Um, was just recently added to the list of natural trout reproduction for PA. So should be um, should be interesting to see what we can find in there. So stay tuned. I'll see you at the creek. All right, so we are at the stream. Um, first impressions are very good. Um, it's a good sized stream, a lot bigger than I was expecting, honestly. Um, I'm sure it's running a little high from uh, from the rains, but it's clear. And either either way, I mean, this is a pretty deep pool coming up. There's a real deep pool with the uh, trail bridge up ahead. So let's uh, let's explore. Let's see what what's in here. Ooh, there's a big fish in there. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a really big fish. Holy cow, that's a full fish. Oh my God, this is the biggest full fish I've ever caught. Good Lord. <laughs> it's a monster. I have never caught a full fish this size in my entire life. When I first saw him, I thought it was a massive brown or something. He's coughing up a bunch of worms and, and stuff, so he's definitely eating all right with this rain. But look at that freaking fish, man. It's a massive fall fish. Well, not a trout. We'll, we'll see what else is in here. There we go, got a fish. It's a brook trout. Hey, we got trout. That is what I'm talking about really hoping there'd be fish in here because it's a really nice stream. Just had to get up from that bridge, I guess. So I'm pretty sure I lost one. Now this is the second one, but nice brook trout. Back in there. So my strategy here, um, each you know considerable size hole, like something like this, um, I've been tossing both the spinner and the trout magnet just to see you know, which might be preferred. And that was on the trout magnet. Tried spinner in here first and had a follow and that was it. Um, so I might stick with the trout magnet for now, but we'll see. Our fish should be just fantastic. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yes, that's a pretty good fish. Now check out this brookie, fat, fat little guy. It's ready to go, that's for sure. Really nice fish. The streams actually looks really good. I love these uh, pine, tre pine tree style forests. It's just a lot easier to walk around. The stream has good flow, seems to have a decent amount of pockets. I was pretty worried there at the beginning, um, especially when I caught that big fall fish. It's like, oh man, here we go. But looks like it might be a good stream. Oh, I see one sitting in here.
There we go. Nice brookie. This is not the one that I saw either. So I know there's at least one more. Really nice fish, a little dark. Come back into this hole without spooking everybody. There we go. Really, really pretty fish here. Wow, oh, good reds on this one. Red orange. This creek ended up being really good. Like I said, I had my doubts. But there is a lot of brook trout in here. I've lost. I've lost though, I don't know. Three or four. I think this is my third or fourth caught. It's really good water. We're really having a good time with these guys. But again, really pretty fish. Look at that rose red. Stream keeps splitting into all these different little channels and each channel has a couple good pools so it's like fishing a maze of brook trout. I love it. Oh nice. He bit that on the fall. I didn't even think I had thought I had there's a bunch of sticks in there. I thought I had a stick right when I hit the water. Sneak up here and get him back in his home without spooking everything else that's in there. There's a brookie. Oh no, it's not a brookie, it's a creek chub. Oh, I guess the creek chubs are still living in here. Hopefully the brook trout will kick them out of here. There's one. Little brook trout. I'm so happy this stream worked out because it's a gorgeous stream. These fish are just as pretty. There is little little fish. Oh, I love them. There's another brook trout. Really pretty one. Fish are gorgeous. Can't beat them. There's another. Most of the fish seem pretty small in here, but that's brook trout fishing for you. But I did couple, catch a couple nice ones. I've seen a couple nice ones as well. So that's been about, I would say, the average size of brook trout in here. Another little guy.
Well, with this uh, little three or four incher, I'm gonna call it for this creek. Lost a nice one out of this pool. Really good looking stuff. When the creek's at full capacity, it's um, it's got some really nice pools, um, but it breaks off into a lot of different channels through this valley. So it's tough to get it in these, you know, real big deep pools like this, but, but man, this is, um, I mean, fish is like a class A. Uh, it's gotta be at least class B, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, so far two for two today. Some good brook trout fishing up here. Um, this stream's only a few minutes away from the other. Um, I am going to head to some other streams. These next couple I'm definitely not as, um, as confident about. So we'll see. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next part of this day.